I feel like comedians need to chill out with the crowd work material clips. Like enough is enough. No more, please. Because I feel like this clip specifically from Chris D'Elia doesn't need to exist. Obviously because of him being a potential pedo, we don't want to see it anyway. But just in terms of why does this exist? Why do you need to share this? I don't get it. It doesn't matter in any way, shape or form. No one cares about the backstory. No one cares about the interaction. It was funny when you were there. Crowd work stuff just needs to end. Like uh, already, I feel like it's a disservice to fans when you do crowd work anyway, as a stand-up comedian. You should be putting bits together, like fucking write some jokes for fuck's sake. Like, come on. Just asking people where they're from and riffing on where they're from and if they're gay and if they're not. Has she got big boobs? This guy's black. This guy's Chinese. Like, that's so hacky to me personally. Like, come on. Like, actually craft some jokes like write some stuff like that's the hard bit so i feel like crowd work is lazy and, and annoying but even if you do do it it's i feel like it's only funny in the moment it's like it's like retelling a fucking dream you know what i mean no one fucking cares it's not interesting like it's only funny if you're fucking dreaming it yourself so i feel like crowd work just needs to end personally me no fan of crowd work but anyway this is crystal leo crowd work which i feel like doesn't shouldn't exist Calm down. Only just laugh and don't laugh. That's it. Just laugh and don't laugh. You don't have to do the dancing like the fucking asshole that you were doing. You mean in the beginning? I was up here and she was like doing it like this, like it's her show. You're like, oh, we gotta go. This is not good. One thing I've noticed though about Crystal Lee's stand up comedy from the clips I've seen so far, he definitely looks a little bit apprehensive on stage and he definitely doesn't look as confident. And also, he's, that whole kiddie voice is gone. Is it only me? I feel like he had a very like, yeah, yeah, good, good, gaga type of voice whenever he was on stage. It was really strange. Like he spoke like a teenager or something. But even like, you know, you know what I mean? Like back then he spoke like really like he had this weird aff affliction, I don't know, inflection, whatever in his voice. It's definitely changed. He's definitely not sounding as kiddish anymore, but still he looks like a shell of the man clearly on stage. Like, you know, that's the face of a man that's been through some shit. That's also a face of a man that may drink a bit or may pop a couple of pills, you know, allegedly. But yeah, let's continue. Just laugh, just laugh or don't laugh. Cause, cause you know what happens though? He'll throw you out. <laughs> and he does it like this from the feet. So just chill. I appreciate you liking me, but you're liking me in the wrong way, okay? And also, you're not a child, so, you know, stop. You want me to get her now? Here we go. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> oh, no, the cops are here. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, uh, fuck, she has to go. Oh, well, let's just wait it out. I feel bad, but in a way, you made your bed, you know? <laughs> yeah. I think it needs to be a ban on all crowd work on social media sharing as clips because, I don't know, maybe it's me. If I'm a fan, I'm not coming to watch you perform on stage because of some crowd work bit you did. I'm coming on there because I think you're funny on pods. I've watched your specials and shit. That's why I'm coming. But I'm not coming to see you because of shitty crowd work bits. I'm not. And I just think in general, it doesn't do him any favours because this is just terrible, personally for me. Like, this was probably funny in a moment because I'm sure the woman, whoever it was, was doing some crazy shit. You probably saw her doing some crazy shit. That made you laugh. Chris Alia saw it too. He recognised it. The, the security coming, people fucking around and panicking. That's the funny bit, in the moment. But this recording of the stuff and put, it's just like, enough, man, enough. I've had enough with crowd work bits on social media. All comedians must end crowd work bits. Please stop. But also, cancel culture maybe does work a tiny bit because Chris Alia looks like a fucking shadow of his former self. That guy looks bloated. He looks tired. He looks like he's aged a million years. Um, the hairline keeps going further and further back. Um, yeah, it's not looking good for the boy. It's not looking good for the boy who maybe is a fan of little girls, allegedly. But hey, what do I know? What do I know? <laughs>